This tutorial will introduce you to force volume analysis in SPIP. A force volume image consists of an equidistant grid of force curves. In this case, the force volume curves represent deflection versus height. To get started, simply select the force volume image to have all the dedicated force volume tools appear in the ribbon. Now we can choose the selection tool and select a curve in the image. It is very important that the setup dialog is filled in correctly. In this case, we are looking at indentation curves. Therefore, we must go to the indentation tab and fill in the parameters. If you are working on the sample image provided with SPIP, you should set the parameters as shown here. Please also verify that the settings on the General tab correspond to those shown here. Now let's zoom out and look at the curves generated by SPIP. First of all, SPIP displays the selected curve. In addition, we check the Force versus Separation option on the General tab. Therefore, SPIP also shows the Force versus Separation curve. In this window, the relevant parameters selected on the General tab are also displayed. In this case, these include the Young's Modulus, Snap-in, Maximum Pull, and more. You can select multiple curves. You can click to select single curves. Or you can drag a box to select the average curve within the marked area. Please note that the selected curve, including averaged curve, are added to the spreadsheet view, which also includes statistics for each parameter. The ribbon offers various tools for correcting the curves in the force volume image and for aligning them. From the ribbon, you can also generate various maps from the force volume image. Let's generate the Young's Modulus map, which you'll find on the parameter menu. Now SPIP has generated the Young's Modulus map. Thank you for your attention.